Hey everyone, Karina here, coach and mentor for highly sensitive people and creator of the program Synchronizer Life. So welcome to day six of the Feel Lighter in 21 Days experiment. Today's day six, exper day six experiment is inviting you to practice forgiving. So part of the reason why this is part of the experiment is, if you haven't noticed, um, I this Facebook Live didn't happen till much later my time here in Hawaii and partly because the internet kept cutting out and it kept saying something's not working so I kept trying all day and getting a little bit frustrated every time I tried to log on and you know there's just so many little things about things that don't go perfect or don't go right and in that sense <laughs> I can practice forgiving right here, right now, just forgiving technology for what it is and forgiving myself for not being perfect and not being able to have control over things that I don't have control over. So there are many different ways to forgive, okay? There are things that you can forgive for life events that have happened. There are people that you can forgive that maybe have done you harm. And of course, it's always good to forgive yourself. Okay, so if you are someone who is a little bit hard on yourself, maybe you're a little critical of yourself, then consider today if maybe you need to forgive yourself or someone, something. Maybe did you do something that you regret? Or are you someone like me who has a whole lot of things that you want to accomplish and achieve in this life, but you're just simply not there yet? And I know about me, I've definitely gotten into modes where I've gotten really stuck, doubting everything that I'm creating. And just feeling super overwhelmed and confused about what I'm here and what I'm doing and then beating myself up that I'm not there yet. Okay. Whatever that is. So forgiving myself has been a consistent practice. Um, I've actually taken forgiveness into very minute things that happened a lot. So, so if you're someone who, um, goes to the supermarket and you get triggered by people and maybe the supermarket is really a place that does not, you know, really drains you. What I like to say to my highly sensitive people is that if you are feeling drained, it's likely that you are doing a lot of judging. Okay. So if you are judging a lot, I invite you to practice replacing every thought of judgment with forgiveness or at least being willing to forgive. Okay. So in regards to the topic on being willing to forgive, there was a time in my life where I um, wasn't really, I don't know, I was a little bit resistant, especially with my, my one cousin who I mentioned yesterday, we, I was scared of outshining her. And we went on a trip together in college to Europe. And then we were talking about going to this, going on this trip since we were young kids because we you know, heard about our parents traveling to Germany and, you know, all that kind of stuff to see family. So I remember I got to Spain where I met her. She was doing studying abroad. And by the end of the trip, I hated her. <laughs> I, I it just, it, there was just so much that I took with me that um, I was just really angry that of the way she, she acted. So she was just really burned out from traveling. She was studying abroad. And I was angry with her that I felt like she kind of ruined the trip because she was, you know, not, she's very negative and very, um, you know, not wanting to do things or, um, just very, I don't know, there's someone else we traveled with and they were fighting and it just was a mess and it was, it's crazy. But two years after that trip, I was still angry with her and I couldn't really put my finger on why I didn't want to talk to her, why I never called her or, you know, why, um, I didn't really want to interact with her, but <clears throat> I soon realized that it was because I was angry at her. And I remember I went to a seminar and at the seminar, they said, find someone you need to forgive. And at first I was like, Oh, there's no one. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, I, I use the whole, I'm fine thing. <clears throat> and, um, then all of a sudden my intuition showed me her face. So my cousin's face came up and I brought her to my mind's eye and I said, okay, I guess I need to forgive you. So I pictured her in my mind's eye and at first I didn't want to forgive her. I was still angry at her. I was like, no, like, why should I forgive her? 
you know, it, she, I can't take that trip back. But what ended up happening was I needed to first be willing to forgive her. So if you're having trouble forgiving someone, I encourage you to start practicing simply being willing. Okay, so if I say, are you, uh, I said, can you forgive X person or can you forgive yourself for being a certain way or for doing something or for not being there yet? If you say no, then I invite you to ask yourself, well, am I at least willing to forgive myself? And if you could at least say yes to being willing to forgive yourself, then I promise you forgiveness is one of the highest and strongest healings that you could have. Let's breathe that in. Okay, so forgiveness is one of the strongest and most powerful healings that you can have. We'll take a nice deep breath together. Okay, so for my aspiring leader, highly sensitive people who are watching me, if you want to make the world a better place, if you're here to create change in this world, but you sometimes feel so overwhelmed that there's just so much to do, and you feel like you don't have enough time, or you don't have enough energy, or everyone is pulling you in 10 different directions, and you just don't know how you're going to get any of it done, okay? Practice forgiveness. You know, sometimes you hear the word surrender, and for a while it was like, surrender, what does that even mean, okay? For me, my practice in surrender has been all about forgiveness. I forgive myself. I'm willing to forgive myself. I'm willing to forgive this person at the supermarket who is walking very slow and I have somewhere to go. <laughs> okay? See what happens. See how much lighter you feel when you practice forgiveness. The beautiful thing about our world is that there are so many things that you can practice forgiving. Just like a dog barking really loud, right? Anything that triggers any of your five senses and literally is making you feel overwhelmed and overstimulated, take a moment to forgive it. I forgive you, plane, for going overhead. I forgive you, dog, for barking. Okay? This immediately helps you reconnect with yourself. Reconnect with that part of you that is your light. It is your energy. Okay, so when you are able to reconnect with yourself, you're able to come back to you, then the energy is not up here, but rather it is in your body. Okay, so the whole goal is to bring your energy back into your body. When we are judging and we're being triggered or we're in a state of fear or overwhelm or doubt, literally your energy is leaving your body and it's like somewhere over here. And if you're someone who's been disconnected from your body for a long time and you haven't practiced setting your roots down and being grounded in your body, then this is a practice that you can engage in. Practice forgiving and your energy will start to come back into your body. You'll start to reconnect with that inner light so that you can feel that, vibra that vibrancy that is you. And of course, so that you can feel lighter, okay? Because that's why we're here. We're here to experiment with feeling lighter. So today's experiment, simply said, practice forgiving. There are so many ways to practice this. It deserves its own day so that you can focus on it. Okay? So if you did practice this, if you went throughout your day and you practiced this, leave a comment below. Share with me your experience with this experiment. Share with me what you learned from it. Share with me if it made you feel lighter. Okay? Maybe you, you can even uh, rate the heaviness from one to 10. And then after you practice the forgiveness, you literally just need to say, I, my intention is to forgive. You don't have to actually do anything. Your words are so powerful that the minute you say an intention, the minute you use those words, you're setting out a new vibration out into the universe. Okay. So it's simply the power of your word that you need to, to, to focus on power of the word forgiveness. Okay. So if you practice this, leave a comment below maybe give this video a thumbs up or a like. Um, and if there's someone that you really think might would want to hear this today, someone who maybe has been being really hard on this themselves, or someone who's perhaps really stuck, okay, invite them over. If they're a highly sensitive person, they are maybe an aspir aspiring leader, someone who is not necessarily a leader in their community or their world, but they so want to help make this world a better place. Okay, invite them over help them join this conversation. Really, this is how our community is going to build. It's going to build by simply word of mouth. All right, so looking forward to hearing your comments below, seeing how forgiveness has worked for you, 
or if you're having any challenge with it, with it, okay? If you have any questions or you're feeling really stuck or maybe you're angry at me for even considering for you to forgive someone, okay, that, that has probably destroyed your life, bring it forward, okay? Let's create, a, let's create a healing together. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be heavy. This life, we're meant to live light, okay? So live light. So if you're over on Instagram, I'm going to be posting these 21 days with a, a post of the 20 day reminders of what each experiment was is and you can go to the hashtag live light so that you can see each of these posts okay or you can come over to my instagram so with that said invite your friends over to the group i'd love to have them join us and thank you all so much for being here today um, today tomorrow is day seven Okay, but we are staying here in the now. We're forgiving the things that don't work out. We're forgiving that which makes you feel frustrated and angry and insecure. Okay, whether it's yourself or someone else. Okay, so let's all take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Breathing in the forgiveness, the willingness to forgive. That's all you need to be at. Okay, looking forward to hearing how this experiment goes for you. And I'll be back tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye-bye.